All right, good morning. My name is Kathy Jensen. I am Councilwoman Jensen from District 1 over on the north side of Fayetteville. I would like to welcome you all to the Tennis Center Groundbreaking Ceremony. Yay! Looking around, we see that construction on this project has already been well underway due to the effort of our staff to ensure that these projects stay on time and on schedule. Before we get started, I would like to introduce my fellow council members. First, we have Council Member Hare from District 4. Council Member Hondros from District 9. Council Member Bentevente from um, District 3. And Shaquilla Ingram, Council Member Ingram, that is District 2, which we are standing in right now, and we will hear more from her. The t I'm sorry, before I get started, I would like to recognize the tennis community. Are there some of y'all here? Please stand up and guess. Yay. Thank you for your patience. I promise you it will be worth the wait. There is one thing we did in these Parks and Rec Bond is that we did not want to put them up fast and not cross every T and dot every I and make sure that it was something that you would be very proud of and that would it would be used. So I promise you it will be well worth the wait. And I also would like to recognize members of the Parks and Recreation Advisory Board. If you could raise your hand. There's three of them. The three women, I love it. Thank you for coming. The Tenor Center is yet another project funded by the Parks and Recreation Bond Referendum. Exciting times are on the horizon and these projects are to be completed. One project that our community has been looking forward to is the opening of the Bill Chris Senior Center. With great anticipation, we invite you to join us Tuesday at 10 a.m. as we cut the ribbon to open up the Bill Chris Senior Center West. I will tell the tennis community, please try to make that because you will see how we have crossed every T and dotted every I and make you proud of what we're getting ready to do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ask Council Member Ingram to come up. Happy Friday, everyone. Um, I truly hope you all are as excited as I am about being here uh, on this day to break ground for our new state-of-the-art tennis center. This is truly a work, thank you. This is truly a wonderful occasion as we celebrate yet another facility in our city and district too. Just a few short mo months ago, uh, less than a mile away from this very spot, we broke ground on the Senior Center East facility, which is another exciting project funded by the 2016 Parks and Rec Bond. The new Senior Center and this Tennis Center, both of which hope to open next year, will be anchors of growth as we transform this very community. And as your district representative here, I could not be prouder of what we are accomplishing. The city council and city staff have clearly prioritized the revitalization of this area and this tennis center will be an important attraction for us all. I'd like to pause and acknowledge council member Banks McLaughlin of district eight who just arrived and I want to take a personal privilege and share a quick story about my experience and how I became a tennis player. <laughs> so when I was young, um, much like many kids in the community, sometimes you don't always, you can't always afford summer activities and summer camps. And so uh, when we could not afford summer camps, my mom 
purchased me a tennis racket from Walmart and a container of balls. And she would take me to Fevel State University where their tennis court is now a basketball court. And she taught me how to play tennis. And almost every weekend, I would be at Fevel State University with my tennis racket playing tennis um, while other kids were at summer camps enjoying what their parents could uh, put them in. But I had the pleasure of picking up a new sport such as tennis and enjoying it. I'd like to share with you a little bit about what we can expect once the center is completed. The 6,594 square foot facility will include 11 hard surface courts. One of those courts will be used as a championship center where players will compete in tournaments while family and friends cheer them on. And the center will also include four clay courts and four pickleball courts for instructional and recreational usage. I knew there was going to be some claps for the pickleball courts. <laughs> pickleball is growing in popularity in our community and beyond. And I'm excited we will be able to have courts available here for those who want to play and learn. Just this month, council approved the contract for $2.4 million building at the site. The building will serve as a clubhouse and will have locker rooms, a learning center, and space for a pro shop, as you see here. The facility will be a, able to host tournaments, events, lessons, camps, and special events. And as former councilwoman Kingston would say, preferably weddings. <laughs> there is no end to the creativity of our community. And I look forward to what we will see here in the near future. It may be hard to envision right now, but I want you to picture this with me. Look out over this land where you can see trucks are moving and getting ready. And in the years to come, we will see children from across our region competing in a regional or na even national tournament. How exciting will it be to know that we, Fayetteville, the can-do city, will be a host city for tournaments? Maybe Serena Williams will come and teach some kids. <laughs> Picture a very close championship match taking place on the center court in front of a full crowd. Picture children starting to learn a new sport during their summer out of school like I did. I see adults creating a pickleball league. I think council member here will lead that up. <laughs> and gather every week faithfully, building community around shared interests. I see parents and families here, spending time together, laughing and learning, staying active and healthy. These courts and this building will provide the opportunity not to only practice and compete, but also making long life memories and build a sense of community like we hope for our Senior Center East down the way. That is what we are doing here in our community together. Our Fayetteville Cumberland Parks and Recreation is all about creating opportunity engagement, staying healthy and active, and providing resources for everyone to enjoy. This tennis center is going to be a regional attraction, drawing visitors from communities both near and far. This is not only great for District 2, but for the whole city and our entire region. Why? Because we are the can-do city and we are presenting 
a can-do attitude. We want to ensure that we're providing spaces that are appealing to all ages, encouraging health and wellness, and contributing in a positive way. Our community, our city will continue to thrive as we invest more resources into our communities. And as we address the needs related to recreation, safety, security, and economic development, all of which improve our collective quality of life and move Fayetteville forward, we are working hard as council members and staff to do just that. Thank you for being here today to share this visible reminder of commitment of the city of Fayetteville, improving our city and being the can-do city. And we are also putting to bed that there's nothing to do in Fayetteville. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Ingram. So I am going to, the mayor could not be here with us today. And as I say, there is 10 of us, so we could all spread out and do the jobs that we need to do. So I'm going to fill in and um, say his, um, read his speech for him and welcome everybody with his regards. Um, before I get started, I'm, I'm talk a little bit about pickleball and tennis. So I, I, my family went out to play pickleball. And we are completely hooked. We have realized that we're terrible at it, but we are practicing to do it. But I told my girlfriend that lives in Wilmington that is an avid um, tennis player, and she's my age in our upper 50s, and I was, thought she would be so proud of me, and she said, yeah, no, that's not tennis. That, no, 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 nothing near it. So I didn't realize how um, alike they were. You know, apples and oranges, it's still fruit, but... I understand how different it is, and I will say that we are working to get more pickleball courts that we do not infringe on the tennis courts. <laughs> so please know that we are well aware, well aware. So good morning. Thank you for enjoy Thank you for joining us on this exciting today. Today is a big day for Fayetteville as we celebrate the groundbreaking of a new world-class tennis center right here in our city. This center will be the first of its kind in Fayetteville and will draw sports enthusiasts from across the region. It will be home for beginners, amateurs, professionals alike. And I have no doubt it will be something we can be proud of. The Parks and Rec Bond, we know an active and engaged community is also a healthy one. That's why with the support of the voters in 2016, developed a plan to provide places and spaces for residents to recre recreate and enjoy all across our city. In 2016, the Parks and Rec bond, Recreation Bond has been an overwhelming success and has truly transformed our community in so many ways. It has in many ways helped us transform the way we think of ourselves. Exceptional recreation facilities make Fayetteville a destination for both residents and visitors. With the $35 million from the bond, Cumberland, Fayetteville Cumberland Parks and Recreation and the City of Fayetteville is able to build two senior centers, build six splash pads, enhance the Jordan Soccer Complex, partner with Fort Bragg on a sports complex, upgrade the number of playgrounds, trails, and park facilities, renovate the Dorothy Gilmore Recreation Center, and open a skateboard park, and so much more. Each of these is a result of determined work by the city staff, the commitment of the city council, and the support of our residents. We can continue building a strong and healthy city by increasing community engagement and promoting an active lifestyle. Each of these bond projects does just that for all our residents of ages and abilities. One of our goals is to make our city a desirable place to live, work, and play. Recreation options is a critical way that we can meet that goal. Today we break ground on the Tennis Center but we are not done yet. Tennis 
and pickleball in Fateville. The Tennis Center is a great investment for Fateville as we continue to grow. We will be, in, we will be the place where family and friends can learn, train, and compete in the sport. Since the beginning of the year, the year more than 17,000 residents have used our existing courts. And last year, our cor courts hosted 11 tournaments. Through our city, through our Fateville Cumberland Parks and Recreation Division, we offer tennis activities, camps, and programs that are available to all ages. We have an active tennis community in our region and a growing interest in pickleball. With the popularity and the fast growing sport, we have also included four pickleball courts, as Council Ingraman told us. An eleven and a half million dollar facility that will have championship competition court with spectator seats, making an excellent place for players to win, to play for the win. This center will bring those across the state who love and have the passion for the sport to be the premier destination for individuals to visit and play. Parks and Recreation staff have worked very hard every day to provide programs and activities to support our residents with the wide variety of interests. Can we give them a hand before I go on? They have done an amazing job and they do it so unselfishly. Whether you are a player or a spectator, beginner or advanced, this tenor center will enhance the community in countless ways. We are America's can-do city, and we are building the city for our, res our residents deserve. The Parks and Recreation Bond proje projects, like the Tennis Center, are about making Fateville the best that it can be, a goal we can all share. So before I ask everybody to come up here, I would like to acknowledge Council Member McNair from District 7. She's over here on the corner. So if I could, could I get the um, City Council members to come up and stay, come with me at the, um, for the shovels? And staff, I'm gonna do something completely different. So after we get done, yesterday we were at the um, groundbreaking for Fateful State where they're going to have a Chick-fil-A and a Starbucks. I don't know if anybody knows that. And they did something that I think we need to do. We, we're going to get our picture done first, and then if we could get the tennis community to come up and let them get their picture with the Parks and Rec Advisory Board. I appreciate that. We're going to try this. One, two, three. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 we need another one? 